I own and use a fair number of blades with my table saw. So keeping them on hand, organized, and free from damage is a challenge. But this blade storage box solves the problem nicely. We begin by cutting the four pieces for the box out of a good quality three-quarter inch plywood. The sides then receive a quarter inch groove to accept the back. These sides then receive a series of quarter inch grooves running front to back to receive the trays that will hold the blades. These grooves are spaced every 5 eighths of an inch. So I zeroed my rip fence scale to match the Freud box joint blade set that I was using. The first groove is cut one inch off the bottom of each of the sides. You want to be careful to keep the orientation of the sides the same throughout this grooving process. The remaining grooves can then be cut by simply stepping off the rip fence by 5 eighths of an inch between cuts. 5 eighths accounts for both the width of the groove and the spacing between. Your final groove should end up at 1 inch off the top of the parts. This method will allow you to make a box of whatever height you need for the number of blades you wish to store. To assemble the box, I set up my 3 8 inch box joint jig and reset the Freud box joint blade set to the 3 8 cut. This process is no different than any other finger jointed box, with the exception that the top is a half an inch shorter than the rest of the pieces to allow the back to slide into place. With the box assembled, it's time to make the trays that hold the blades. These blanks need to be 12 inches long and 11 and an eighth inches wide, but verify the actual width that'll fit into the box that you've created. I designed the trays to have offset tabs like file folders. This makes them easier to read and easier to grab. A two-sided template was created in order to make milling the tabs easy and accurate. Flipping the template over allows me to cut all four tabs from one template. Each of the trays features a boss in the center and a finger hole for lifting the blade. I marked the first tray where I wanted these to be and used this to set the drill press. The 5 8 hole for the boss is only an eighth of an inch deep, but the one inch finger hole is drilled through. Once the dowel sections are glued into the boss holes on each tray, your blade box is ready to keep your investment safe and convenient to use. To keep building your skills, visit our website at woodcademy.com.